Hello and welcome to the episode. I'm Nick. I'm Joe. And today we're going to pop to Southwold. We're going to go to our good old trusty two magpies calf. And Joe is going to try my interceptor on the way up there. So we've got to pull over and Joe's going to have a little go. So it's got to kind of be like a comparison meets your 350 versus the interceptor 650. You've never rode this yet, have you? No. So please join us on this one for a bit of banter. So if you're interested in either the interceptor or the meter but you can't sire, this video might help you. So please come and join us. Should be fun. Should be fun. <laughs> Should you take the piss out of me? No. You are. Yeah, because I really couldn't decide what to buy. I really I, I really liked the meter when I road tested that. Yeah, you did, didn't you? It's just that you uh, were a bit concerned about dropping to a bike with only 350 power, weren't you? I think it's probably more of a bloody ego thing, to be honest, isn't it? <laughs> when you think about it. Probably, whereas, I mean, I can't speak for all, I can't generalise for all women, but I feel like as a woman, there's not as much pressure for me to have like a really powerful bike, you know? Yeah. I mean, with today's, uh, the way the price of fuel is, it'd probably make more sense to have the Meteor, wouldn't it? Oh God, yeah, definitely. Considering, like, we've done quite a few long outings, I mean, I know I've filled it up more than I did the 125, but I mean, that's, that's obvious that that would be the case, but we've also been doing longer journeys. Remember that time in that other vlog that we'd done, your fuel light come on and we were lost and you're just riding for so long with your fuel light on. I know, I really thought it was going to run out, but it didn't. Nah, so you pull over here and we'll swap bikes then, yeah? Yeah. Alright, I'm all in neutral, I'll leave it running for you. Finally in neutral. <laughs> It's been a while since I rode yours. I think the last time I rode it was when I picked it up for you. Because uh, you had passed by then, had you? No, we did a pillion. Ah, yes. That's the last one. Ah. Uh -huh. So I've probably done about 1500 miles on mine. So I've fully got oh, used God. to it. Yours is heavier than mine. Yeah, yeah, mine leans over a bit more as well, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it's mm -hmm. trouble. That's the problem. Oh, I don't I didn't <laughs> learn nothing to get <laughs> after a. That's the, so start. the first thing you notice it's heavier yeah and like the i'm not used to having to be like this yeah the pegs just sort of get in the way a little bit didn't they yeah you do get used to that though it's a thing you have to get used to and the stand is really short on that one as well so um when it's leaning over if you're on a bit of a uneven gradient it's a bit hard to get it back up right again yeah i felt like that because i'm used to the weight of mine i'll get going yeah it's clear isn't it yeah oh. A bit whipsy. Oh bit my old. god, where do I put my feet? <laughs> <laughs> You're on the brake. Oh, am I? Uh, no, you ain't. Oh. Oh, mate, I'll just, just knock yours into neutral. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, god, I'm doing it downwards. I forgot you've got no gear indicator. <laughs> yeah, oh. that's another thing. You don't get a gear indicator. This is weird. Oh, yours is well comfy. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. I'm probably leaning on my wrist now. It's a bit more revvy, though, your one. Which is understandable. Yeah. I mean, I'm obviously not going to go zooming off because I'm not used to yours. You look well posed on it, though. Do I? I don't feel very comfortable on it. I think I'm just so used to how mine is. Yeah. Because obviously, when I was doing my test, I would have been on, like, in a similar position, wouldn't I, an SV? Yeah, I'd say, yeah. Yeah, just weird. Not just used to queening I mean, now. Obviously, yours ain't got the grunt. Which I'm now noticing. <laughs> right. Oh, it does sound nice from behind, though. <laughs> I mean, it's a cool little bike. But it's the first time I've seen someone ride it. It's quite a nice experience to watch it watch it, my bike being ridden it does feel quite nice like going around the bends 
yeah, it, it does handle really well. Yours is a nice neutral position, quite comfortable. It's obviously a lot better on fuel. Insurance will probably be cheaper as well. And the tax actually, the... Um, yeah, the tax was... The tax is cheaper, isn't it? Yeah. No vehicle tax. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm getting used to it already. Yeah, I mean, it's a completely different riding position to yours, so yeah. it's understandable. Like, my feet are more back than on the 125. Yeah, definitely. But on the same side of that, it gives you a bit more of a sporty feel when you're going around the corners. Yeah, so. perhaps that's why it feels nice going around the corners. Yeah, I reckon. Because I'm not, like, bolt upright, I'm sort of leaning into them. I mean, you're insured on it as well, so uh, actually, the funny thing is, when I put you on the insurance, my um, premium went down. It is weird, isn't it? So what are the first impressions? It's, uh, it's obviously got more go, got more power. Um, I'm kind of getting used to the position. At first I was like, oh, I'm not liking this position, but um, it's not too bad. It's nice on yours as well, having the gear indicator, having the tripper, having the clock. So yeah. much more on your dash than mine. Oh no, it's crazy. I mean, the clock, there's no clock on the interceptor. Oh, he's not going to stop, is he? Yeah, you do get a lot more. The only thing you don't get is extra CC, but... Yeah, but the Meteor seems a bigger bike, than not it? It is actually larger. It's got more, it's got a longer wheelbase. Yeah, and it's wider because it's harder to get through the gate. Yeah. So that's another thing to consider. But it is a lot lighter as well. Yeah, a lot lighter. Which I was quite surprised at because it looks like it would be a lot heavier. It's there in a bit. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. There's a Tesco's thing down there we ain't going to fit. I know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Just keep going for now. I'll put over when I can. Yeah. I mean, the only reason I didn't buy this, if I'm honest, is because I was worried about not having enough power. But, no, I've realise no matter how much power you've got you just get used to it yeah definitely and I'm noticing that obviously the interceptor is not as good on fuel as this or the 125 I'm spending a lot more money commuting on the interceptor than I probably would on this yeah you are aren't you you're filling it up a couple of times a week because I know we go out but we only do especially now the weather's going a bit naff we only do the one calf ride now a weekend so it's not a, a lot more miles you're adding to it but you're still filling up twice aren't you yeah so i think if i could go back i don't know what i'd do with I'd, ideally i'd want both <laughs> i know this is this is fun like the more i'm now getting used to it yeah would you buy one if you didn't have this yeah i think if i hadn't have I mean I didn't try it before I bought, bought it but we went. I went on your first impressions on knowing what I'm like Watch that jump bump there babe, it's on the left, sorry There's a what? There's a bump there on the left, careful Yeah, got it Well I didn't get it, I mean I avoided it <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean <laughs> um, Yeah, I think if I went and test rode this like having passed first I would definitely go for this Yeah because like the seat I thought would be so uncomfortable but it's not actually that bad once you're sitting on it no nah. just to sit on it to have a sit on it like I have in the garden kind of thing I mean the seat on your on the interceptor is a lot more comfortable than your CV125F I don't know if I'm in first yeah yeah that was like a blooming plank of wood yeah So would you, if the time comes to it, trade this in for what, an interceptor? Well, I don't know if you can remember, but I said I'm never getting rid of her. So I would get her in addition. <laughs> get one in addition. <laughs> oh, would you? Yeah. I mean, value for money though, this, this bike is perfect, isn't it? Yeah, like, 
if you had both bikes, the Meteor would 100% be your commuter. Yeah. Because of the um, fuel economy. But then again, it is a pain to get it in and out of the uh, garden. You've only got a single gate. Yeah, that's true. But I suppose for someone that's got a garage or something, yeah, that wouldn't be an issue. I mean, I, I, still though, I don't think a cruiser is good for my type of commuting. Not that you can't filter on it, but filtering on the interceptor, because your legs are positioned the way they are, and it's quite a slim bike, it's, it's a lot easier to filter on. Yeah, I can imagine that now, actually. And you've just got that little bit extra go as well, if you're at the front of the and you've got some idiot that wants to speed past you. Yeah. So I think if you can afford it, go for the interceptor. Like depends, what? It does oh. depend what you're doing though, doesn't it? If you're oh, a new 100%. rider and you want a stepping stone, and if you're not doing long distance and you're not commuting through city traffic, then this would be perfect. Yeah, definitely. That is a brilliant first bike. Yeah. I mean, I, I love it. And it is fun. It doesn't feel like you're uh, lacking anything to nah. me. I mean, we don't do a lot of, you know, dual Maybe carriage you way. Later on, mate. Oh, fudge. <laughs> what a noob. Talk, you silly talk, belly. Talking of noobs. <laughs> yeah, there's another downside about that. I know it's a minor detail, but the indicator is just one solid light. It's got two arrows on it, left and right. It doesn't have a separate left and it doesn't have a separate right. Yeah, I was uh, going to say tell. that. Yeah. So it's easy to, it's such a small light, it's easy to forget that. So you're getting used to it now, throwing you in the deep end here, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Supposed to pull over sooner, but we didn't get an opportunity. <laughs> but you, I suppose if you didn't like it, you'd say, I want to pull over, but you must be liking it. Yeah, it's fun. Ace, sure. ace is ace. Ace is ace. That is the name of my bike, Ace. Is it Ventura Blue? <laughs> ace Ventura. <laughs> and I'm riding Queenie. Is this Royal? Yes. And I treat her like a queen. <laughs> Your seat is really comfortable. Oh god, it is, isn't it? But on the flip side of that, though, because you bolt off right, a lot of the bumps and stuff go straight to your spine. Yeah, I, that's the thing, actually. Now you're saying it, I haven't really felt like anything's very bumpy on this bike. No, because you're lent over a little bit more in your your spine. It's not taking all the bumps. Watch that gravel there, babe. Yeah. You all good, yeah? All good. Indicators off this time. Open it up a little bit and see what you feel. It's dead straight road, but nothing coming. Yeah, it's good. It's like instant power, whereas mine's sort of a gradual build, isn't it? Yeah. Yours just jumped into fourth then. Oh, did it? Because I've got a heavy foot where I'm resting on the peg. It sort of tilts, because it's got a, a hill changer, it tilts the gears as you're resting on it. Ah. Uh, so yeah. that could be another thing to consider. If you're a bigger person or a bigger build, you've got a heavy foot or a big foot, you might want to, um, if you're buying one of these, change the gear lever to the tech parts one to remove the hill part of it because you will accidentally knock it down <laughs> yeah that's the thing as well because i'm only a size six i mean obviously you've got bigger feet than me so i it's n mine it has jumped gear before but I've, i think i've had it happen twice yeah and i think that was a bit later on in the journey so i was probably a little bit fatigued and i might have lent on it you know yeah i mean I think the Interceptor is a, a sort of bike that will take anything we'll throw at it. And I think the Meteor is a little bit more fragile. Nice Sunday rides, so I don't think it will take a lot of abuse. Nah. No. Which is perfect for what I use it for, because I just go for a little bumble on a Sunday, don't I? And if we're off. It's a pretty little bike, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice addition to your garage. But I think the Interceptor is more of a do-it-all classic. Yeah, well, I mean, as you say, like, if you don't use it, if you don't have to use it all the time, 
media is just perfect and um, when we pull up it is always Queenie that gets the looks. Yeah that is true, it is a nice looking bike and it's, it's a lot cheaper, it's a couple of grand cheaper than the Interceptor, I mean budget is a big thing and you're not going to go wrong with this. Yeah, I mean, because you were uh, Googling yesterday, weren't you? And it's the top selling bike in the UK this year. Yeah, it's over 125, the top selling motorcycle in the UK for 2022. That says a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, because it's a lot of bike for the money. And given the uh, state of the finances of the country at the moment, um, it's the ideal choice for people because they know that they're getting a new bike so they're not buying old issues with someone's second hand bike and it's definitely an affordable price it's just cheap motoring isn't it yeah but i don't think they look cheap i said that before didn't i like to me before we were looking at bikes and before i really knew anything about bikes I thought they were really expensive, like I thought they would be. Yeah, they do look really expensive, and they do not look under sub £4,000, do they? Oh, no way. They really don't. And I feel like in the biking community, they do get quite a lot of respect, really. Oh, Royal Infants do, yeah. Yeah. So it's not like you'd be um, looked down upon because like when we pull up and there's fellow bikers and they'll come in and be like you know it's cool that we're a Royal Enfield couple that kind of thing yeah yeah we've had a lot more comments on these bikes than we ever had yeah on any other bike another thing I think is quite important to mention uh, this only have five gears ah uh, yes uh, mine has six gears I forgot yours had six because mine's only got five I've not used six <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're going to do a left here, there's a little lay-by and I'll pull in that and we can swap back because I'm missing my interceptor. <laughs> okay, you pull over and I'll just go straight past you. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. I would miss the power, mate. I would. Would you? Yeah. I think I'm going to miss the power when I swap back over. <laughs> yeah, I would, to be honest. Just pulling out of there and I was full throttle then. I'm a heavy guy as well. Well, I wouldn't ride it off for that. No, no way. Depends what you want out of motorcycling, doesn't it? I do like a bit of speed. Oh, oh it does tell me I'm in neutral. Yeah, no, that's just oh, no. stay with me, darling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all good. Lovely. Can you just go to grab it just in case? Because yours. It's fine, then. Yeah, but it goes a lot Honestly, further down fine. than mine. That's fine. But that's the only. That is a criticism that the, the stand is bloody short on that. Yeah, I think that would just make me paranoid. Every time I got off it, like now, I got off that so awkwardly because I was like trying to make sure I was holding it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, mine is a lot smaller than yours, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's a big bulky bike, isn't it? It is a big bike. I'll turn you down a bit. But I would say I enjoyed re re reading, reading on the brain. I enjoyed riding <laughs> that a hell of a lot more than I thought I would. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's because when I took it out for demo I got in it I thought yeah this is cool man I yeah. like this bike like once I got used to it and as you say oh, I was a little bit stiff around the bends at first yeah and then once I got used to the feel of it around the bends that was fine oh there could be another interceptor on the car eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you go in front because you know I, I like oh, to that's follow better. that's better all right Oh man! <laughs> yes, it's such it's such a fun bike to ride, man. Yeah, this is it. I mean, mine is a hundred percent more comfortable on the bum, but um, yeah, the power. Um, it's like now I've just been on yours. It feels like I've just got back on a one two five. <laughs> yeah, it did. To be honest, I didn't want to say that, but it did. <laughs> I think if you were just getting on it like as I normally would having not just been on yours you wouldn't think anything of it nah. but going from one to the other you can definitely feel the lack of power yeah I mean yours is smoother this there's more vibrations in the bars on mine 
but I've noticed that since putting the Stinger 2 into 1 exhaust on it. Oh really? Because what I think, because it normally has twin tailpipes, one left and one right, I think that kind of balances the engine a bit. Ah. Uh... And it, I think having the one side, it kind of puts it out of balance. Not a major issue, but I've definitely noticed a little bit more vibrations. But then again, it could be because the bike's running now. And so I don't, I wouldn't put it down to that, but. I've got another reason I think that might be. What? Is um, because, don't forget, on my bike, you're not leaning on your wrists. Yeah, I suppose. And like, yeah. you're really leaning on your wrists on yours, so. Yeah, could be. I mean, it's not a major issue, but it's something you know is when you go back to back. Yeah, but, like I can feel a hint of a vibe on mine, but I'm not leaning on them, so... And again, your mirrors do shake. But this is a high frequency vibration. Yours is more like a fud, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes sense, because singles, isn't it? And I love the sound of twins, though. Oh. It does sound good. Like, even when you're on it, it sounds good. Not just, like, from behind. Right, getting back on this is like getting putting an old pair of boots on. That's the same with this though. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's yours, isn't it? It's just... It certainly is. You know. I mean, I'd love for you to have an Interceptor because the colours... Oh man, you're, you're spoiled for choice, aren't you? Yeah, I know what I'd go for. What would you go for? Orange. Would you really go for orange? I would go for orange. No way love the orange. Do you know what I'd go for if I didn't have the blue? I'd get the uh, Baker Express, the blue, no, city blue, the uh, white and red. That is nice, that one. Orange, eh? But I'm really digging them kind of colours this year. I don't know why I like the oranges, yellows, greens. They do such a wide range of colours in the media. Yeah. And the thing is as well, you can buy a lot of different like styling mods like different wing mirrors that kind of thing and they're not that bad price really oh, plenty of upgrades yeah yeah this is a fun bike i'm looking forward to doing my six month review on it Oh yeah, I'll have to do one as well, won't I? Yeah, I feel it's early days yet. I've only had it just under three months. Uh, I want to wait until six months and then I'll do a year one. But so far, man. Oh, I mean, no. I've got a couple of issues with it. Not a big deal, which I will mention, but overall, well happy with this. Yeah, well, I mean, nothing is perfect in life, is it? No, so definitely not. You've just got to, it's got a way out, you know, the pros and cons have got to balance out, haven't they? Look at me, I'm far from perfect. Somehow you married me. Oi. <laughs> Quite a few bikers out today. Yeah, none of them nodding. I think you're enjoying the sunshine because we know it's going to get really, really cold. Yeah. The cold is coming. Because first thing in the morning and night in the evening, it's really fresh now. Yep. So this is, well, is this your favourite calf, two bag pies, or is it the tea rooms? The, the what is it called, tea shed, that's it. Tea shed is now my ultimate favourite, but this is my second favourite. And as far as, I know it's not a proper chain, because you can't get them all over the country. Well, it's an East Anglia sort of chain, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah, it's a local chain. As far as chains, coffee shops and that go, this is my favourite. And the tea shed is in Walberswick. Yes, that's it. Can't think the word. <laughs> we'll probably do that at the end of the year, like rate our top five calves. Yeah. yeah that we've been to. That'd be good. Do a lot of calf runs if you're new to the channel. Some maintenance tips and stuff like that. I'll do that where I can. But it's mainly just a vlog channel. Me and Joe riding around uh, motorcycle life the episodes of our riding pretty episodes much. of us getting food <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is though you started off as a pillion didn't you on I this did. channel 
so we've documented all that got all that on playlists of you doing some pilling adventures on my bike my uh, nc 750x down from you picking up your bike what an achievement eh? i oh, know and it's all documented on youtube yeah it's pretty cool really isn't it yeah Oh, oh, this bit right in front of me right so we should probably sign out there as we are here and we are going to get a nice coffee and a cake and joe's probably going to fight someone for a cinnamon <laughs> swirl <laughs> <laughs> i'll get nick to turn the camera on if i start a fight <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us we were going to sign out i've been nick i've been joe and we'll catch you on the next episode ride safe <laughs>